Today, we are going to discuss instrumentation interview questions and answers. The video is very informative and helpful for you. Let's start the video. The first question of today's video is What is level troll? Let's see its answer. Level troll is an instrument used for measuring the liquid level. And it measures the level between two known points. These are two points you can see in the image. The level troll works on the buoyancy principle. Buoyancy principle has buoyant force. Do you remember something from buoyant force? Means level troll works on Archimedes principle. Let's see what is Archimedes principle. You must have read about Archimedes principle. Let's discuss about it. Suppose a body is in a fluid. Then a force is acted in the upward direction. This force is known as buoyant force. You can also understand Archimedes principle by this image. Buoyant force is equal to the weight of the fluid that the body displaces. Here, in the image, the displaced weight of the fluid is 2 kilograms and the buoyant force is also 2 kilograms. Basically, level troll has a float. This float submerges in the float chamber proportionally with the rise in liquid level. If you like the video, do like and subscribe to our channel. The amount of submersion of the displacer depends on the liquid density. Torque is produced due to sinking. The amount of torque produced is measured in the terms of percentage of level. Level troll can also work as a switch. There are some application limits of level troll. Level troll can only measure a short and fixed height of the level. This is also a disadvantage of level troll. The next question is What is the working principle of mass flow meter? This is the common question for technicians as well as engineers. And its answer is, mass flow meter works on Coriolis effect. So mass flow meter is also known as Coriolis flow meter. Mass flow meter measures the mass flow rate of a fluid that is traveling through a tube. If you are new on the channel, do subscribe. Mass flow meter has a tube as shown in the image. Mass flow meter measures the mass flow rate of the fluid that travels through these tubes. Mass flow rate is the mass of a fluid traveling through a fixed point in a unit time. Now, we will see the units of mass flow rate or mass flow meter. These are some units like kilograms per hour, tons per hour, gallons per minutes. If you want detailed video about mass flow meter, write in the comment. Now, come to the next question. Question 3 is, what is static head level transmitter? Let's come to its answer. First, we will see what is static head. Before knowing about static head level transmitter, you must know about static head. Suppose, we have a container and it is filled with a fluid. The weight of this fluid exerts a pressure at the bottom of the container. This pressure is known as static head pressure and this is due to gravity of the earth. So, we can say that static head pressure is a pressure due to the weight of the liquid. Higher the liquid height, the higher the pressure. We can also say more or higher the level, the higher the pressure. Let's 
take an example of open tank. Open tank is shown in the image. It is filled with a fluid. So, the pressure exerted at the bottom depends on the liquid level or liquid height. If we take an example of closed tank, the pressure exerted at the bottom depends on the liquid level in the tank. So, we have a conclusion. Static head level transmitter is the one that measures the level in any closed tank or open tank. Here are some examples of static head level transmitter. These are DP type transmitter and diaphragm type level transmitter. DP type level transmitter is at the right side image and diaphragm type is at the left side image. Its signal is a linear signal. Usually, it is 4 to 20 mA signal. Static head level transmitter measures the total liquid level. Now, come to the fourth question. What is the full form of TCV, PCV, FCV, and LCV? TCV is temperature control valve. PCV is pressure control valve. FCV is flow control valve. And LCV is level control valve. The fifth question of today's video is what is the working principle of thermocouple? And its answer is thermocouple working principle is Seebeck effect. Now, let's discuss what is Seebeck effect. When two wires of different materials are joined together and we are heating at one end, then due to temperature difference, a voltage or EMF is produced. The CMF depends on the temperature difference, as you can see by this image. When the heat is provided at one end, EMF increases on increasing temperature. EMF is produced due to temperature difference between hot junction and cold junction. EMF of voltage is measured in millivolts, as you can see by the hand arrow. Hot junction is the point where the thermocouple is inserted, and cold junction is the point at environment. So, that was our video. Thanks for watching the video. If you really like the video, do share with your friends. And for more instrumentation and control videos, be with us. Thanks for watching.